Hello, hi there, welcome back to my channel. We have been to Your Horse Live today and that is because it is my 25th birthday in a few weeks. Nah, 10 days, nah, nine days. So um, Kieran bought me out as a present and then I had a spending allowance, <laughs> which I blew. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd show you what I bought today. It's um, Chunky Girl in Mind, but I think everyone needs to know the uh, the size appropriate clothing. We're trying. So um, I thought I'd show you what we've got and then the price for uh, the discount stuff. So first of all, I bought something from Makara. I think that's how you pronounce it. It is a stunning zip down sweatshirt. I bought it in extra large because I want to make room for when uh, I eventually do start the gym. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I thought it was lovely. It was a decision between the light blue and like a lavender purple kind of colour. I thought they were both to die for but because they were £40 each I thought I couldn't justify both because um, this one came outside of the, <laughs> the allotted birthday present money from Kieran. So I bought this one myself. The second thing I got was from Smart Grooming I bought a thinning blade so it's the professional thinning knife and then I'm trying to move away from pulling mains. So this is the one where you scrape up and then snap down. So we'll be trying that out because this main does desperately need sorting and it's four lock. But with something like this, you avoid giving them a bowl cut, which is always pleasant. <laughs> and then I also then got the super blued. So it takes out the yellow tones in his white tail and mane. So you just put literally a teaspoon worth or less than that. I think it's quarter of a teaspoon of a super blue to approximately three litres of warm water. And then it's used as the final rinse of mains and tails in the body area. And you literally just dunk 10 seconds, pull out, and that'll do. So if not, you'll dye your horse blue. So I've got that from Smart Grooming. I've also got all their Platting bands, platting wax, platting gel, and platting loose dry away spray. Cannot rate them enough. It's really, really good. A good brand to go with, and it's not expensive. This was £15 for a lovely handcrafted knife, and then this was £8.50 for what I can only assume, so what, a quarter of a teaspoon, gram, 0.25. There's 30 grams in a pot, so you've got, what? 100 uses out of a pot and then I'm pretty sure this was from the department store well kind of retailer of nags let's play a game why would I need one of these you'll find out soon but um yeah got one of these it's an elasticated bungee tie who knows who knows what i have bought and then i got myself some more reins because i find that the ones that i'm riding in at the moment with the bouncer they're just not long enough especially when we're doing like long and low work it's being constantly ripped out of my hands at the end of the buckle so i got some in full they were 44.50 like 44 pounds and 50 pence which i think is a fair price because it feels like really good leather like super super soft and the rubber bit doesn't feel like it's too thick either so it's a nice nice hold which i'm quite happy about i then went to um premier performance and i spoke to them about how um i panic quite a lot so if you were to watch my last, in like when we did school hire video, you'll see me having a mini panic attack with my mum and she just looked at me like, you silly, calm down kind of thing, but I just can't help it. So um, I went and spoke to them 
and they've given me some free samples of the human calm because where I'm hoping to start getting out a bit more now like for competitions and for lessons and stuff I thought might as well take matters into my own hands other than I'm starting to go to lessons and um, riding and talking through my anxiety problems because it only comes down to horses really but that's because I have some had some nasty falls in my time so it's hardly surprising but yes I'm gonna give these a go and I shall let you know or you'll probably be able to see in the next video or the if I'm breathing or not you'll hear the horrendous singing and then the one that got the most attention was the Lemieux sale massive sale you wouldn't have even thought covid was a thing when you were crawling around there people bumping and bashing into you you could basically feel any biddy breathing down your neck not fun so in the theme of competitions and going out and stuff i got myself some white white competition lions because with having a boot booty as bootalicious as mine quite difficult to find breeches that will go over it so um, for the time being I went and got myself some leggings I think I got these yeah UK 14 so they should do they've got a sticky bum which I was very very keen on but I did try a 12 did go over heard the seams cracking a little bit not keen and then um, I could also see my knickers through them so I'm hoping with going up a size I won't have to wear a thong or like in coloured pants because that's just not that's just not a horse right appropriate for me it's, it's not there <laughs> but um these were in the sale and they are 40 pounds or were 40 pounds i think that's a brilliant brilliant price but then again they are with a new take you all the way down no scuffs or anything it's just um end of end of the line sale is what it keeps saying on the website and then um I got a lot of dress off pad. And it's a colour that I don't know will well, I've never had on bounce, I've never had a grey on him, but I can imagine it's quite nice. But these typically are what $44.95 a Lemieux pad. It was $29.95, so that's £15 off. Oh boy. I swear to God, I would have gone back. Like, I would have gone here sooner if I knew it. But when we were walking around, I saw them having like the um, red bags quite a lot when, I, when we were walking around at the beginning. And I was like, thinking to myself, why are you so popular? But yeah, oh, I'm really excited to try riding this. I've only ever rode in close contact pads or GP pads. And now with Bounce's uh, new saddle, it doesn't like they just don't seem to fit him that well especially now that it sits quite far back up his withers and from his shoulders the saddle pad keeps kind of slipping underneath him and then there's just not a lot of sh uh, like shoulder pad protection so i thought I might as well try a dressage pad but more for schooling rather than it being for hacking and just everyday riding so we shall see but yes this is everything i got a bit too much but we also saw Charlotte de Jardin and Carl Hester's um uh like talks and ride throughs and stuff demonstrations that's the word we went and saw those and they were amazing the first one was um Charlotte talking about her or Carl Hester talking about Charlotte's younger horse about the processes that they take to get through to training him so he's only four and naturally talented and it was phenomenal it kind of made me emotional I know it sounds silly Flint, don't do that. Yeah, it made me emotional. Kira was sat next to me, none the wiser. And yeah, I was like getting a little bit croaky in there. I've got a cat in a bag. Yeah, so it was a little bit, yeah. It's just when you see someone with such a reputation and with so much skill in front, it was just amazing 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 and then we saw ben atkinson's um stunt horse performance horsemanship whistles lots of dramatic music and that was really fun too 
But yeah, this was my day at Your Horse Live with all my bits and bobs. And Bouncer has been well and truly spoilt once again. Might as well have been his birthday. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And then if you don't, don't. It's no hardship. But um, I shall see you all very, very soon. Bye. Good boy, Bouncer.